We have now just completed our fill on our butt joint. The next step will be to cap this off. Now there's one of two ways you can do this. You could either do this with stringer beads and or with weave beads. That will be completely dependent on the procedure that you're working with. Now for today, we are going to do half this cap with stringer beads and the other half this cap will be done with weave beads. At the end, we will be able to make a comparison to see which one that we would prefer to use. Now, I would strongly recommend take advantage of technical training and your time practicing and do both kind of caps. Let's get to it. Now half of our weld is done with our stringer beads. Now we're going to move on to the weave. There are many different manipulation techniques that you can either use with the weave. You can either use a fishtail, a moon shape, a figure eight, that is all dependent on the position you're working with, the size of the electrode, and the heat input that you're applying to your base material. Half this weld is now done with stringer beads. The other half has just been completed with the weave bead. What I see here is the flux on the weave bead is starting to peel off. When your flux comes off relatively easy, that means that you have a really good heat setting, that you kept a good angle, as well as your arc length was consistent for that weld process.